Okay. Yes. No, she's not back yet. Still out in the woods. Papa? Papa, are you okay? Papa? Is this all you've been doing? Staring at the TV while I search for Orson? I called Haugen, just like you wanted. You did? Of course, Angel. Papa, thank you. Miss Johansson, Detective Haugen would like to speak with you. Let's go. Don't want to keep Haugen waiting. Is there anything you want to talk about? I'm here to listen if you want. I don't have anything to say to you. Wow. She really did a number on you, didn't she? She's got you so scared, you've forgotten how to speak up for yourself. What do you know about it? You barely know me. I can't believe I'm in a bar. Especially after last night. My thoughts have been so jumbled since I came back here. And those little voices in my head are saying, have a drink and everything will make sense. I just want to shut my brain up. Astrid? Are you even listening? Hey. Are you okay? I'm fine. Can I get you anything else? We're fine. Thanks, Leo. So, I heard you were at the station. Is Haugen putting the search back on for Orson? Yeah. That's what she said. That's great news. Yeah. It is. See? Don't give up hope yet. They still might find him. Right. I hope Niels' podcast can help. You know, spread the word about the search, instead of spreading lies about us, like everyone else. Nils? I didn't tell you? He's back in town, and he's a podcaster now. What kind of podcast? True crime. He covered that killer in Brussels. Did an episode on those cult murders in Sweden. And now he's talking about us. Wait. If he finds out you're under investigation... Look, a new episode just dropped. Let's listen together. Hello, faithful listeners. We have some major developments to talk about. Not only has Orson Johansson's disappearance escalated into a murder investigation, but the prime suspect is none other than Orson's mother, Astrid Johansson. Apparently, the police were led to this gruesome discovery by an anonymous tip. How could a mother kill her own son? What a monster. Orson's dead? He's not dead! And Hagen thinks you killed him? Oh my god! Brit, stop! This is all a big mistake. 
I would never hurt Orson. Then why did they think you did? Why didn't you say anything to me? Oh, please. Like you didn't know. Why are you looking at me like that? Were you the one who turned in Orson's glove to Hogan? What? No. How could you say that? Let me guess. You thought you were doing the right thing. Where are you going? I don't have to listen to this. I'm so sick of your endless accusations. You've treated me like shit my whole life and I'm done. Go ahead and run away like you usually do. You know what, Astrid? You're just like Mama. What do you mean Xavier is catatonic? I want to see him. Everyone needs to just calm down. Who is in charge then? Xavier left a note, specifically stating who he'd like to take his place if anything happened to him. Well, who is it? Xavier wanted me to lead the Foundation. He said that I was blessed by the Purifier, so I was the best choice to step into his role. That's bullshit. Not another word, Krista. What did you just say to me? Stop challenging Xavier's wishes, or I'll banish you from the Foundation. Fine. But no one goes outside until we figure out a plan. It's not safe out there. I give the orders here, Krista. Get out until you're ready to listen. Damn it. Xavier, have you seen Faith? Please. My daughter is out there and I'm out of options. If you can hear me, please say something. I've seen horrors too. And I'm telling you, you can beat this. But you have to snap out of it fast. When I was a boy, I watched my mother die in front of me. She sacrificed herself so I could come to this country safely. I carried the guilt of her death with me until I couldn't go on anymore. But then I remembered what she wanted for me, what she gave up, and I fought back until I found myself again. Fight back, Xavier. I know you can find yourself too. They're coming! We need you. Rachel needs you. You told Rachel she was the chosen one, anointed by the purifier to lead us out of the withering. But she's doubting herself, Xavier. She's lost. And if Rachel's lost, so are we all. You need to snap out of it and help Rachel own her power before it's too late. Come on, wake up! Xavier, what, what happened? You saved me. <laughs>